Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting the day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. This morning, you are going to get to hear some poetry with attitude. My first guest this morning is one of a kind. From her name to her personality, you will not find another woman quite like her. Iona Gunn was born and raised here in Key West. She's been writing poetry since 1993. Now, Iona has gone through a lot of obstacles, but right now, she is really being used to help and inspire all those around her. Iona, it is such a pleasure having you with me today. It's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> all right, I have to ask, is Iona Gunn your real name? Iona Gunn is my real name. Mm -hmm. On the birth certificate, it was type I-O-N-I-A, but my father, who was Cherokee Indian, he said that your name is I-O-N-A, and they mm -hmm. never realized that it was type I-O-N-I-A, so I do put A-K-A, I-O-N-A, -A, and they've always called me Iona. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. And like I said, that is a one-of-a-kind name. So just with a name like that, Iona, you know you're going to be a star, okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. As I mentioned, Iona, you, you've really gone through some obstacles yes. in your life, and mm -hmm. one of those obstacles was drug abuse. Yes, it was. And um, from sixth grade to twelfth grade, I used drugs. My mom had seven kids, five boys, two girls, and I knew that she was pretty busy. She really couldn't keep up with my education and stuff. She worked hard. My father had left. The Navy had, he was in military, and he and my mom separated, and he left. And when he left, I was very angry, which I didn't realize, but that anger began to go into drug abuse and stuff. I started with my friends with the smoking and then drinking and then on to uh, marijuana and then cocaine and finally I was, I felt myself, you know, just getting lost out there. But I had a grandmother that raised me from sixth grade to 12 and she constantly instilled prayer into me. And although I was trying to run like Jonah, I still had to be brought right back. In 12th grade, God met me. He met me on the bed of despair. I was laying on the bed. I had taken a piece of a quaalude, which now is considered a date drug, and I could not respond to my mother. I could not cry out. But this God that my grandmother taught me about, she, I remembered that God, and I began to pray to him. And I remember in that nice, still, small voice, he said, I created you for greater things. And when I woke up the next morning, I was so grateful. I never used drugs again. What a story. Mm -hmm. And you were created for greater things. Yes. And one of those greater things is to be helping and inspiring yes. others. Yes. Did you start writing poetry right after this, Iona? No, I did not. Um, I asked God to give me something mm -hmm. that I could help people, help them financially, help the homeless, help, help the youth, help everyone. And uh, I said, I want to speak for you. I want to tell people what you brought me through. And uh, this was a few years ago. And I walked outside, and there was a young man I met, and he told me he had been using drugs. And all of a sudden, I said to him, I used to run the streets. I thought I knew everything. Nobody could tell me anything. But thank God for Jesus Christ who came and rescued me. Now today, I'm living drug free. So let me share my story and take you on this journey. And God used my tongue. And it surprised me, and he <laughs> fastened it in my mind. Mm -hmm. So I can recall certain poems over and over again because that's what he does to me for me to reach out. And that young man came to church with me, mm -hmm. and he is taking Bible studies. And how is he today? He's great. He's, <laughs> he's, he's better. Mm -hmm. And he told me, he said, you know, he said, we talked, I'm delivered from that. And that's what it's all about. That's being delivered all, from yes, that and, yes. and realizing mm -hmm. your purpose. Well, yes. your book, you, mm -hmm. you brought it with you this morning. Yes, You've I recently did. had a book of all of your poetry yes. published. Tell me about some of the poems in here, Iona. Well, the poems are very personal. Some of them are about my life, mm -hmm. and some of them are not. And uh, sometimes I just say, God, you know, what, what about this? Oh, I ask him a question, and sometimes I take for granted that he's listening and he'll say, sit down and write. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm going to write. Mm -hmm. But under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, my hand begins to move and I get to read 
and as it's coming off, I'm just stunned. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes after I'm finished, it's already fastened in my mind, mm -hmm. and I only read it once. Wow, that, mm -hmm. isn't that something, Iona? It's Iona. amazing. Could you share one of your poems with us this morning? Yes, mm -hmm. it's page 72 in my book, Poetry mm -hmm. with an Attitude, and it's, I consider it the Sandy Hook Elementary poem, and the reason being is I went across the computer and I said, God, so many people want to know why. Mm -hmm. Why did loved ones die? Why does, you know, why do their loved ones die? And he says, sit down and write. And it's called why. You cry your tears when you hear that your loved one is dead. Then you ask me why, yet you do not wait for me to reply. Now you have felt only part of my pain. You cry because you lose one, two, or three. But what about me? Day after day, my children are taken away in many different ways. Some never learn anything about me. One thing you fail to realize, I'm not the reason why your loved ones have died. I'm misunderstood when bad things happen, but when good things happen, you hardly ever say thank you or mention my name unless you do it in vain. I get the blame for what goes wrong. I gave you freedom to choose and many of you have not chosen me. But when you or your loved ones are dying, you think that I should intervene. Now I'll ask the question why and I'll wait for your reply. I love it, Iona, and how true is it? Yes, it's You speak very life true. in your poems, Iona, and you've been getting such a response across the state. Tell me about some of your speaking wow. engagements. When I first started doing uh, poetry, I went outside, and there was a group of young men, and I went up to them, and I said, you know, God has touched my tongue, and they looked at me like, touch your tongue? <laughs> what are you talking about? And so I did something for them, and they went, wow! Oh, you, and, and they jumped and they like, Miss God, how do you do that? And I said, what? They said, you're rapping. I said, I don't rap. And they <laughs> said, you're rapping, Miss God. And then they said, because you rhyme every other word, this is rap. And uh, the one that I did was called The Hell That I Live With. And it says, the hell that I live with, it has a name. I keep it to myself because of the shame. The trials are hid by the smile on my face, trying to make the pain go away. The hell that I live with, others do not know. They see me as I come and as I go. The hell that I live with, it's a reflection of the mistakes that I made along the way. The hell that I live with makes me want to throw up my hands and quit. The hell that I live with leaves me wondering, is it worth it? The hell that I live with, I'll accept it for now, because one day when Jesus comes, I wear a crown. Awesome poem, another one. Yes. <laughs> and it does sound like rapping a little bit. Yes. <laughs> well, it's poetry with attitude. Yes. Iona, before we go today, tell me about your future goal, your vision for what you want to accomplish. My vision is to help people who are hurting. Many people are losing their jobs. They need financial assistance. If I can start off here in Key West helping with the kids, helping, helping the homeless, helping ch different churches, not just mm -hmm. my, the church I attend, but I feel like um, that was God's, Jesus Christ went about helping who he may. And he always went to the poor. We always want to be seen among the rich, but he went to the poor. And if we pattern our lives after him, if we love one another, like he called us to love one another, we will look out for those people that are hurting, widows. You know, there's so many people that are hurting right now, mm -hmm. and they need help. Wonderful. You're going to be making such a difference, not just yes. here, but all yes. over, Iona. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being on with me this morning. Thank and, you for having me. And sharing your poetry. Pick up your copy of Poetry with an Attitude. You can find it online, right, Iona? Yes, mm -hmm. poetrywithanattitude.com. All right. Well, I'm going to be joined after these messages by another incredible woman, so please stay with me. There is much more to come today.